Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's a it's a great honor. <sighs> thank you. You guys are you guys are too kind. Son of a bitch! guys it's Aaron Pirelli from HAP Fishing you guys know how I love a funny beginning but uh let's get into it I wish I was like Greg Hackney that was that's such a great photoshop uh picture of me but flipping the picture when I started out you can't do it in the house you can't sit there with your rod and take a chance of hitting the ceiling and everything else like that you guys are starting and you want to stay on your game one of the best things you guys can do go outside get yourself a nice piece of grass okay and start using the basics like I learned okay Good old solo products. Your cups, set up your cups everywhere strategically around the lawn. A bowl, paper bowls, okay, and paper plates. As soon as you got those out on the lawn and you got them all placed around, step back a good distance, start learning, pitch into these targets, okay? Once you can get it in the cup, start setting it up like this so you can get it actually in the cup from the ground level, okay? But let's take you on a quick tour outside and get you involved in flipping and pitching, all right? Keep watching. Now this is a perfect example of I want to pitch at, okay? It's got lots of grooves, it's got a tree, okay? Now look at the area. Now I have another camp to keep it close down by, okay, set up. So you can see, you set yourself about 10 or 15 yards back. You grab your best, and I mean your best flipping stick that you want to play with, okay? And you start flipping at all those little pockets in there, okay? Start getting in those grooves. Boop, right there, there's a groove. Okay, there's another groove. Okay, pretend the grass is always the water. Okay, there's a little pitch, there's another groove. Okay, start getting it from area to area to area. But you don't want it too high and dropping and plopping down like that, okay? It's a little different when you're not standing in a boat. You take a little groove everywhere you go. You know, like that center groove where that leaf is. You just want to go, boop, right in front of it and drop it. Okay, do another one center boom right on the leaf okay see what I'm saying you got to just flip and pitch and get your best precision down work the whole entire tree when it's in the water okay every little slot could be a potential bass hit that little grass patch right there okay Now everybody's got bushes, okay? Bushes that are very, very low to the ground are important, okay? Picture the grass, obviously, like water, okay? You got one little nice pocket there, 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 and you wanna get alongside their wood, but you also gotta work the areas, okay? You wanna get underneath your lowest parts, perfect, okay? Flip it out of the grass. Now obviously, it's harder with grass than it is with actual water, okay? But you're getting the concept of pitching underneath areas that you want. Perfect, underneath, overhang, okay? Let's get to that back one, all right? And just working it, hitting that tree, hitting that stump underneath there, you know? Come into this pocket, hit underneath that stump, boom, you hit the stump, okay? Come to the next stump over here, boom, hit that stump, bam, you know? You gotta, you gotta target them, boom, hit that one, boom and stay as close to the water as you possibly can. That's what's key, bam, in the back, okay? Look at that little pole all the way between there. You wanna get a pocket in between there, that's how you do it. Oh, there's one. Let me see if I can hit that pole in the back. Whoop, grass got me stuck up. Oh, bam, there's the pole, hit the pole, okay? That's how you do flipping and pitching bushes, okay? That's how you get close to it. Let's move on. Go to the next one. Boom. Get into that next one. 
Boom, hit it. Go to the furthest pole over there. Okay, skip it, skip it if you want. Okay, go to the balance beam. Try to get underneath that balance beam. Okay, try to get at the corner of the balance beam underneath. Okay, more balance beam underneath. Skipping it under that balance beam. Important, it's key, it's key. Okay. Okay, work underneath this. Skipping, just skip it underneath the bar. Skipping underneath the bar is so important. That's how you get it underneath docks. That is a perfect underneath dock pattern right there. Going underneath it every time, okay? It's only five inches off the ground, you know? Go to the further pole, hit it, okay? Try to go underneath the long one, underneath, perfect, okay? You just keep on practicing, flipping, and pitching every time. Underneath, good to go. Boom, underneath, okay? Another dock, let's get underneath that dock over there. Boom, underneath the dock. Okay, underneath the dock. Underneath the dock closest to the pole. Whoop, I went over it, but that's all right. Woohoo! Bam. Okay. Boom. Before you go anywhere, you better make sure you pay your respects to the 9-11 memorial. That's an actual piece of steel from the building. Okay? That's important. Right here. Shanksville, Pennsylvania. New York, New York. And Washington, D.C. Okay? The borough of Fort Lee, New Jersey. Dedicates this memorial to the heroes of 9-11-01. This is why we're able to go out and go fishing every single day, guys. Because of people that helped fight this war. And I don't even know what else to say. Let's get back to fishing. Now, I don't care where you are in America. You can always find this type of bleacher setup. Okay, one of the biggest things about it, what I love about it, it resembles a lot of attributes of a jet ski lift, a little boat lift off of people's docks. You get underneath those crossbars, you get underneath those other pieces, and you just start working underneath. You can't now, you gotta remember you're on grass, so you can't flip it through water. Pick a square, keep picking a square and working it back. Okay, whoop, you're gonna do a lot of hitting, trust me. Okay. Whoop, get another square, okay? Get even the lower squares. And then when you start getting really good at it, when you start getting really good at it, you can set up little cups or stuff like that. You wanna go over things, okay? You put up little plates, little cups down in the back, and you'll start getting more areas to flip and pitch.